But the Rockets made some different kind of news. They're announcing some enhancements for fans, entertainment this year, this season. So I saw that. GMs are already expecting Reed Shepard to be rookie of the year. We're going to talk about that on a, probably Friday. We're going to do a, a Let's Talk Houston Rockets show Friday or Saturday this week. So a lot of folks are on Reed Shepard as rookie of the year. Reed Shepard is talented, but I mean, what does that say about the rest of the class? You know, Reed's not even going to start. I just, whatever. <clears throat> anyway, but here we go. Some ex some arena and game ex experience enhancements. Toyota Center will debut a new scoreboard this season, showcasing a cutting edge 6,200 square foot display that boasts 84% more LED surface area than the previous version and measures approximately 34 feet high by 57 feet wide. The scoreboard, which was developed, who cares, they're not paying me, features a seamless curved design that enables content to wrap fluidly around the entire center hung display, creating the effect of one continuous screen. Ooh. It also features the ability to provide engaging team content, live stats, and team and premier sponsor animations throughout the game. That's important. Got to get that money. The new scoreboard includes four underbelly screens, creating crystal clear views for courtside and lower bowl seats. Additionally, the game control room has been upgraded from the previous area on the event level to the upper bowl of the arena. This move provides the Rockets production crew with a first-hand view of the scoreboard, allowing them to, to help the, take the fan experience to the next level. Yay! <clears throat> the state-of-the-art scoreboard, scoreboard features brand new LED digital lighting elements, new audio speakers, and will aid with pregame introductions by incorporating smoke effects via rocket boosters intended to replicate a rocket launch and create a dynamic environment for fans. Ooh, ooh. The boosters will also be utilized to help celebrate Rockets' victories. And guess what? That's how they look. That's fire, right, Justin? <laughs> I mean, hey, money well spent. I ain't my money, but it's kind of neat, kind of impressive, and as an old person, and as my ears get more and more sensitive, booming music out of those loud speakers, yeah, I'm not really a fan of that, but scoreboard looks nice. You know, the smoke coming out, okay, yeah. Yeah, you know, this is true. Indeed. You cannot say it. I mean, you can say it, you'd be wrong. <laughs> you can say Tillman doesn't spend money, but you'd be wrong because he spends his money here the arena enhancements, the new training facility for the Rockets, all the money he spent over at UH. So he's, he's, he's spending his money. But back to the info. The PNC Club, also y'all need to be paying me for saying that, which is located behind the team benches on the east side of Toyota Center, now offers fans an enhanced experience with a chic, Interior design, like that, Justin, chic. Guests will enjoy elevated food and beverage selections, a luxurious new look, as well as more convenient access. The Rockets did not see in the pictures of this. So I don't know what it looks like. <clears throat> Fans will be able to enter the renovated club via tunnels in sections 119 and 121, with the tunnels allowing for easier access for guests of the building. With prime positioning near the Rockets player tunnel, the Golden Nugget Club and Lexus Lounge remain as premier locations for upscale hangout spots, offering guests with money like Justin and, and Corey one-of-a-kind opportunities for exclusive and unique player interactions. <clears throat> Next, more info. The Rockets are excited to bring back a fan favorite promotion in collaboration with Whataburger to help fans gear up for the fourth quarter at any home game. 
if the visiting, visiting team misses two consecutive free throws in the final quarter. Everyone in attendance at Toyota Center, that's not accurate because media doesn't get that. So it's not everyone in attendance. <clears throat> we'll be rewarded with free Whataburger. Trust me, I've tried. This promotion is aimed to add an extra level of engagement for the crowd as they are encouraged to make noise for all trips to the free throw line from opposing players. <clears throat> Established professional host and reporter, Coog, Lauren Leal, or was it Lauren Leal? Depends if you want to hear Espanol or if you're going to be a gringo. Joins the Rockets as the team's in-arena co-host for the 2024-25 season, having previously worked for UH football and basketball, as well as the Houston Dynamo. Good to see her. I guess I'll see her Tuesday at the Rockets preseason game against the Pels. Nationally syndicated radio host, Scotty Brown, will return to co-host alongside Lauren with PA announcer Jonathan Sanford. Oh, sorry about Jonathan, I didn't put your name in bold, my, my fault. And in arena, DJ Palmo, also returning to create one of the NBA's top entertainment experiences. The Clutch City Dancers and Rockets launch crew will remain staples at all Rockets home games. All right. Captivating fans with the electrifying performances. Oh, what is this? Justin says, I remember had one promotion a few years ago with Jack in the Box. Our section got gift card with different amounts. You got the $100 gift card? Oh. Hey, hey. Congrats. There are more than 20 different concession stands available for fans to try when they visit the building. The upgraded concession stands feature a new sleek design and will provide us a good question. There wasn't any info in, in the press release today. I'm sure it's still, still have the Red Rowdies. Although I haven't seen anything about trials though, but I'm assuming they still have them. The upgraded portable concession stands feature a new sleek design and will provide faster service this season. Okay. Toyota Center is also adding additional grab and go market options this season, located in sections 114, 403, and 413, which will allow fans to purchase their favorite items without missing game action. I got to see that. See that in practice. All right. <clears throat> Newer items available this season include Andouille Sausage Sandwich. With crawfish etouffee. Ooh, what how much that cost? Chicken Kung Pao hot rice wrap. Crispy honey buffalo chicken sandwiches and more. All right. More money. Upgrading the food. The Rockets updated bag policy permits bags no, log no larger than four by six by two. Diaper bags and medical bags subject to search upon entry. Fans who do bring larger bags then the permitted size will be allowed to check bags at the team's stored lockers outside of the team shop entrance or the sky bridge entrance located on level three of the Tundra garage. To ensure a quicker and more convenient hassle-free entry process, fans can now add tickets to their mobile wallet ahead of time. And then lastly, some info by ticket sales. Entering this season, the Rockets boast their highest season ticket renewal rate since 2019. Talented team, good coach, winning <laughs> helps all of that. Fans eager to catch their glimpse of this year's team can attend the lift off party this Sunday, October 13th at 11 15. That's too early. I'll have to miss that then. I'll still be doing things at church at Toyota Center featuring the annual open practice and a special appearance from Hall of Famer Rudy Tom Donovich. All guests must register at rockets.com. 